world <laughs> and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of life, then you, my soul friend, are in the right place. I'm so excited about this video because in this episode we are speaking about personal and spiritual development. And the topic of this video is a word from the universe. Let's get straight into it. So I like to now do these segments where it's like a word from the universe. I might just do them once a month um, or I might do them once every quarter. I don't know. I'm going to keep it organic, but it's not so much topic based. You know, most of my episodes are a topic like how to get over a heartbreak or what to do when you're in a low vibrational space, things of that nature. And sometimes I just want to really discuss with you and also share with you the insights that I receive and the uploads that I receive from the universe because these are helpful things as well. So it won't be a strict topic, right? It might be like 10 topics in one in the space of 10 minutes or something or five minutes, but it will be like straight to the point and something that you can digest immediately. And so I've been having some things that's coming up um, within this last cycle of my life, within the season that I'm in right now that I know is beneficial to those who are watching, to my, uh, my, my fellow soul beings, okay? But before we get into the drip of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update because I am dropping this weekly food for your soul, honey. This is soul food, honey, every single month, day. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an update. All right, so you are now a Mecca Mastery TV family member at that. All right, so listen, a message from the universe. The messages that's been coming to me that I am actually sharing with you are plenty, but I'm just going to keep it simple today, right? So the first message is this. There is not one truth. There's only your truth. That's the only absolute truth, right? Many times we think that, you know, there's one truth, a blueprint to something, right? Oh, you know the truth, what they say when it comes to marriage or relationships or the truth when it comes to this with your body or the truth about tattoos or the truth about working out or the truth about eating this way, eating uh, veganism or, you know, eating a carnivore diet, the truth, 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 truth. And so what we do is um, we unconsciously align with these beliefs, right? With these, we, we, may, we base something as truth and that actually causes blockage within us because that might be somebody else's truth but that's not the absolute truth meaning that's not my truth if you see anything moving that's because it's faith every time we are filming she wants to come okay i don't know why she just love the vibes so we're gonna let her be here she has her tail coming up and she loves to sit in my lap and just be in the presence because she you knows it's all soulful energy going down right now so there is no one truth there's no divine truth as far as like in humanity, right? There's no truth, like no blueprint to something. If it's if it resonates with you, if it does not cause harm to other people, okay? If you are not acting out of the space of fear, then it's true, it's your truth, right? Sometimes, like for example, I had a friend ask me, like, you know, are you into poly relationships? I mean, I don't I don't knock it, but it ain't my truth. Okay. I am for one man and there, and he said to me, like, you know, oh, there's men out here that oh, all men are, are, are supposed to be poly or we know all men are supposed to have multiple wives. I don't agree with that because I've dated men that baby, they had to tell me this is only between me and you. I don't, I don't want an open relationship, you know, cause usually sometimes, you know, usually with the man, you gotta be the one to be like, Hey, I just want you to know that I don't share but no, it'd be the man, okay, for me. So, but that's my truth. Some people's truth are different. I'm not going to tell you that you are wrong because whatever your experience has been, it might have worked for you. You know, a monogamous relationship might not have worked for you. It works for me, okay? Trying to text three people at one time and give my body to more than one person, it don't work for me. That ain't my truth. My truth is one person. I think I got my point across. So, that's the first thing I want you to know. There is not one absolute truth. 
right? It's your truth. And your truth may actually change as well. So that was the insight that I got. The other thing that I wanted um, to speak about and to um, relate to you, because this is a message and an upload that I received, was that sometimes it's just not your season. And that's that, right? Sometimes it's just not your season. You might want to be thriving. You might want to plant some seeds, okay? But that's not your season to plant seeds. It's not your season for you to bear the fruit. Sometimes you might be in a, in a hibernation season. You might need to go through something before you can actually start to bear these fruits, before you can actually, um, you know, literally plant new ideas and for those ideas to take form. And so... When I started to re receive that insight, I just let go of me trying to force something and just say, I can thrive here, right? I'm in the season. I'm in this hibernation season. And how can I thrive here? What things do I like about the hibernation season? So now I am inducing this, this peace upon me instead of this suffering because I'm no longer resisting and rejecting. I just say it ain't my season. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like Just like nature has her four seasons, we have our four seasons energetically and internally within our own psyche as well. So sometimes it ain't your season. Sometimes it ain't your season for a relationship. You might feel like you need a relationship. You might feel like, oh, I should have a partner. Everybody else got partners right now, but it might, this might be your season for you to be alone so you can really hone in on the relationship with yourself. So when you, when you do get in a relationship, the relationship with yourself is stronger so you can relate to that person, who you really are, how to mess with you, how to do life with you. Because right now, baby, you are out of alignment with yourself. So you don't need to bring, in, bring nobody over into your world because you need to be with yourself. So it ain't your season for a relationship. So speak about seasons. Um, and then also, um, the last one I wanted to really hone in on is less is always more, right? That saying is absolutely true. You will have so many desires. We are multifaceted beings on this planet. And throughout your journey, you, there are many things that you would do. I've already like live nine lives. I think that's why I have this uh, attraction to cats, right? Because they say cats live nine lives. And um, I've lived so many lives. I'm only 30 years old and I've done so much already within this short space of time on this on this um, planet as in my within my human life, right? And in my, my non-physical life. And so um, I realized something though, when I made the most progress in my life, when I had the most experiences and I felt the, the essence of those experiences, it is, it was because of one thing, because not only was I present in those experiences, right? Fully present in those experiences, but I was really focused in that's most, I was giving most of my attention to those things. And I wasn't dividing my energy and my time and trying to do too much at once. And so I wanted to bring that up because we live in a society where it's promoted for you to be on go, 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 to do this, to do that. And you don't have to go around accomplishing so much. That's an ego thing. Most people are doing those things because they are trying to gain the attention, the approval, the acceptance, the love of other people from an external point of view, right? And so from my space, I realized that I don't need any external approval. Only approval I need is my approval from myself, okay? And to have my, my connection with the divine strengthened. And from that space, I automatically will align with those who I need to align with at the times that I need to align with them. It's literally divine alignment. And to never do too much, right? For, let me give you an example. I remember when, you know, I started my spirituality business and you guys might see that a lot of things that was active on my website is not active. Like I was selling waist beads, um, yoni steam herbs, protection kits, so many programs and guides and services, doing speaking engagements, sound healings, coaching people, this, this, that, that, like, I felt like I had to give, 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 do so much in the community. And that was coming from my ego. Why? Because not only did I get praised for it, okay, because because the more that I do for others, of course, they're going to praise you, but I'm over here suffering. I don't have no time for myself. I'm always working, always on my laptop, always doing something. Never can I just chill, enjoy a glass of wine. By the way, I'm, I'm about to start drinking wine again. I haven't drunk in over four years, but who said I can't enjoy a glass of wine? This is my fucking life. I could do whatever I want, which takes me to my last point, right? Your seasons will change. What you need to purged and what needs to die might come alive in another season. Like for example, I stopped drinking because it was something that 
was taking over me. I didn't have any mastery over it. It was controlling me instead of me being in control of it. So I haven't had a drop of alcohol in over four years, but I've been having a desire to just have a drink every now and then. Now I know myself, I might have a drink in the next two weeks for the first time. And I probably won't touch that until a month and my birthday. And then probably around Christmas, if that, right? Because I know the type of lifestyle that I live. I'm, I know how I like to feel. And I know myself. I know when I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for something because I'm using it as a coping mechanism or I'm reaching for something because I literally desire this. And this is what I want to do. Like, are you reaching to, for the remote to watch a movie because you just really want to relax and laugh and just really enjoy a movie? Are you, are you reaching for the remote to watch a movie because you're trying to distract yourself and stop these thoughts that's in your mind because you don't want to deal with them and all the chores or to-do list that you have to do, right? So it's having that self-awareness. And so, yes, that was a message from the universe and some insights um, and some downloads that I received and I wanted to share with you that you might right? That you really, really might, um, align with, and you might register and be like, look, Mecca, thank you for saying that, but don't thank me. Thank the universe. But lastly, before I leave, I want you to, I want you to know something, pull out that journal and write, baby, process those emotions, get them out of you and onto paper, process them, write about it, have a dialogue with yourself. It's one thing to have a therapist and have a spiritual life coach that's guidance, but you have to be the one to process it. And with that, I'm done. I'm going to leave you with that. I send my love, my light, my peace, tranquility, gratitude, good as vibes and energy your way. If you're on social media, make sure you follow me on the social media platforms uh, that you see on the screen. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can either email me directly at meccabookings.gmail.com or click the link in the description box below and book your Pick My Brain session. Check out my website at meccaframer.com for a wide range of food that I have for your soul and also just for upcoming events our latest um news and my, i'm about to be dropping a book so you're gonna see everything so until next time i see you in the next episode with peace and love see you <laughs>